Hello, my name is Matias Cavalli. I'd like to welcome guys to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about Avengers vs. Thunderbolts. This miniseries came out in 2004. That was a long time ago. Six issues long, written by Kurt Busiek and Fabian DiCiesa, art by Barry Kitson and Tom Grumet. And um, before I spoil the story, it's a pretty good read. It's pretty entertaining. Um, it's maybe... I feel like the story could have been told in four issues easily. Like, it, it does lag at the end. I feel like the climactic final battle just goes on way too long. Um, and let's get into the story. As I said before, it's a good read. Um, it was a long time coming because the Avengers... Obviously, those who don't know... This particular incarnation of the Thunderbolts is sort of like an evolution from Masters of Evil that um, took over the Avengers Mansion way back in that classic story arc in the 80s. Or late 80s, early 90s. No, probably late 80s. I don't remember. I have it <laughs> here, but I don't remember exactly the year it came out. But the thing is, this really left a mark in the Avengers, especially Baron Zemo was the leader of the team. He did some pretty crappy things to Captain America, especially to his things, his possessions. The things that really had a great sentimental value to him were destroyed by Zemo. He just really, really wanted to stick his finger in the wound for Cap. Because obviously both of these characters really hate each other. And this is going to be a big part of the story. Is that even if Zemo is trying to be a hero, take a new lease on life, Captain America is not happy with this and to the point that captain america is going to sort of be a jerk in the story like he's sort of going to hinder and make things worse at first here we have the avengers they're sort of on the fence what's going down with the uh, thunderbolts by this time uh they're doing superhero things but sort of risky stuff so they're sort of pushing the envelope uh some of their e the things that they do like ethically are sort of questionable while Hawkeye, who used to be the leader of the team, like he has faith in his old teammates. He knows they're going to do the right thing. So, discover is that while the Thunderbolts are jumping around the world, uh, fighting crime, defeating bad guys, saving the world and stuff like that, they're actually also fetching components to a device. Remember the name? It has some weird name. The Liberator or something like that. So they need pieces to it. And what's happening on the Avengers side is that as of late, they're trying to deal with this villain called Cobalt Man, who's sort of causing them some trouble. But he's never like uh, being a true danger, but he, like he keeps on getting away. So this is Cobalt Man. He looks like an evil blue Iron Man. The Avengers get into battle with him. And what actually happens in this, this part of the story is that they're trying to deal with Cobalt Man. Like he's going to go... He's going to explode and destroy a couple city blocks. The Thunderbolts jump in, stop him from going full on nuclear explosion. And what they choose to do is take Cobalt Man to join the Thunderbolts. Obviously, the Avengers are not happy with this. Cobalt Man decides to join the team. But, 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 this is actually a big setup because Cobalt Man actually is Iron Man. He's going to spy on the Thunderbolts, trying to get to the bottom of what they're trying to do. What's this Liberator machine? Are they trying to take over the world? Hawkeye discovers the situation, and he's really, really pissed off about this. Uh, what's going down. The Thunderbolts are sending out an array of, um, of uh, the wizards, those floaty disks. They're sending them out into space. They're actually interfacing with the satellites used during the Magneto protocols. So what this Liberator machine does is um, absorb and uh, turn off any source of paranormal energy. So be it ionic, um, mutants, what else, gamma rays, anything that has an energy source like that, it can be stopped, turned off. And also affects superhero powers too. So basically Zemo can just uh, eliminate the superhero population, the villain population, all superpower people. And this just seems to be too much power for Zemo to hold. Captain America 
is not happy with this. But we sort of have a situation that uh, Iron Man, Tony Stark, who is posing as Cobalt Man, sort of interested in what they're going to try to do. Uh, he's curious how this machine's going to work. He does see the potential. They turn the machine on. This obviously uh, affects all the characters that really have superpowers. So, Yellow Jacket, Hank Pym, Wasps, Vision, Scarlet Witch, they're all getting their powers absorbed and thrown into the machine. So the Quint Gents, it seems to have a transnormal power source, starts falling to the ground, gets saved by the Atlas. The Avengers disembark and immediately they mayhem in news. We have the Avengers going into battle against the Thunderbolts. They don't believe Zemo because obviously when they turn on this machine, something went wrong. Picture and Tony are trying to get to the bottom of this. Why the machine seemingly had malfunctioned while <laughs> there's a big throwdown and especially the battle between Zemo and Captain America. It's the most compelling because Zemo is really trying to tell him, like, hey, I'm not trying to take over the world. I'm trying to use this machine for good. Um, we're going to absorb the right transnormal energies. We're not going to uh, harm any of the heroes and stuff like that. Like he, he throws his sword down. He's like, hey, hey, just listen to me. But Captain America is not having it. He doesn't want to listen. When he discovers within the programming, the Liberator machine is Cree, a Cree... Uh, virus which is actually funneling all of the energy to Moonstone Moonstone actually betrays the Thunderbolts she, well and actually she really wants to help him at first she's just tired of the bullshit of the Avengers and dealing with other heroes and um, but basically just flips out powers is just too much for her so sort of the waters divide on who's siding with Moonstone within the Thunderbolts so we sort of have like this three-way battle. It's total and utter chaos. And as the story progresses, is that the Moonstone is just too powerful because it's mo two Moonstones. So he absorbed a shit ton of energy now. And um, her powers are just going haywire. Like, it's actually punching holes through reality. Things are just going from bad to worse. And at the end of the story, Moonstone, she's left totally catatonic. Uh, Zemo is going to get his hands on the two Moonstones. He actually, Zemo actually saves Captain America. This leaves him horribly scarred and disfigured. And um, also at the end of the story, Mach 4, Mach 5, I don't know which Mach he's at. Uh, because he helped the Avengers, he's liberated from prison. And um, so before, it's an okay story. It's not the, it's not the best. It's, I really love the conflict between Captain America and Zemo still not resolved there's um both of these characters have a grind to axe against each other but it's well written in general I, as i said before there's two issues it's two issues too long so hope you like this video see you guys next time bye